And shalom to my fellow brothers and sisters. It's me again, Damian Powell from YeshuaSavesAll.com. Peace be to you in the name of our Father Yahweh and our Adon, our Master, the Son of Yahweh, Yeshua HaMashiach. So today we're on the fifth commandment, to honor your mom and your dad. So let's, let's see what the word of Yahweh has to say about this. Um, my fellow brothers and sisters, this is my uh, second or third attempt trying to get this video on here. My videos see, keep seeing to be getting deleted or cut off midway. Um, so I'm going to give this another shot. I apologize if you ever don't see a video from me up here. That is usually the reason. So uh, if you click down and look at the information, I'll always leave the uh, my website up there so that you can go to the website if you don't see a video posted because it's not to my own doing. Um, but we rejoice. We rejoice and we'll continue on uh, pressing on uh, speaking the word of Yahweh. So again, thank you for all for joining in. Now, today is the fifth commandment to honor your mom and your dad. So uh, realistically, we should honor our parents every day to make them proud and to not disrespect those who raised us. However, a majority of the world, for some reason, needs to be told when to honor and respect their parents. And that always falls on uh, Mom's Day and Dad's Day. However, both of these days have ties to paganism. It's the worship of the Queen of Heaven and Father Sky. So we know that as fellow uh, brothers and sisters in the belief, walking with our Messiah Yeshua, that we should have absolutely no ties to paganism. Okay, so people think that they're doing the right thing by honoring their parents on these days. But, like I just explained, it's another pagan day, no better than Xmas or uh, E-A-S-T-E-R. Okay, Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 2, Thus saith Yahweh, do not learn the way of the Gentiles. And Mom's Day, Dad's Day, birthdays, uh, holidays not found in Scripture are exactly that, learning the way of the Gentiles. And we know that the Gentiles are non-believers. Once you become grafted in, once you accept Yeshua HaMashiach as your Messiah and Savior, you have become grafted into the nation of Israel just as the native born. So we're one people and you are no longer a Gentile. Okay, that's why it says do not learn the way of the Gentiles. Now, some of your King James may say heathen, but it's the same thing. The point is to simply honor your parents every day and not one day out of the year. Okay, especially for those reasons that I just mentioned. Uh, Exodus chapter 20, verse 12. Respect your dad and your mother so that your days are prolonged upon the land which Yahweh, your Elohim, is giving you. Now notice how he says, honor your mom and your dad so that your days will be prolonged. Nowhere does he say, honor your mom and your dad one day. Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse 16. Respect your dad and your mother as Yahweh, your Elohim, has commanded you so that your days are prolonged so that it is well with you in the land which Yahweh, your Elohim, is giving you. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 3. Each one of you should revere his mom and dad and guard my Sabbaths. I am Yahweh, your Elohim. Leviticus 19, 32. Rise up before the gray-headed. And you shall find favor in the face of an old man and shall revere uh, your Elohim. I am Yahweh. So get out that bed early. Don't cling to the bed. Rise up before the gray headed. Ephesians chapter six, verse one through three. Children, obey your parents in the Adon, which is the master. For this is right. Respect your dad and mother, which is the first command with promise in order that it might be well with you and you might live long on the earth. Colossians chapter 3, verse 20. Children, obey your parents in all, for this is well-pleasing to the Adon, our master. Sirach chapter 3, verse 1 through 16, which was included in the original 1611 King James Bible. Hear me, your dad, O children, and do, according, uh, do accordingly that you may be safe. For Yahweh has given the dad esteem over the children and has confirmed the authority of the mother over the sons. Whoever esteems his dad makes an atonement for his sins. And he who esteems his mother is one who stores up treasure. Whoever esteems his dad shall have joy from his own children. And when he makes his prayer, he shall be heard. And he who esteems his dad shall have a long life. 
And he who was obedient to Yahweh shall be a comfort to his mother. He who revenged Yahweh shall esteem his dad and shall do service unto his parents as to his masters. Esteem your dad and your mother, both in word and deed, that a blessing may come upon you from them. For the blessing of the dad establishes the houses of children, but the curse of the mother roots out foundations. Do not rejoice in the shame of your dad, but your dad's shame is no esteem unto you. For the esteem of a man is from the esteem of his dad. And a mother in shame is a reproach to the children. My son, help your dad in his age and do not grieve him as long as he lives. And if his understanding fails, have patience with him and do not despise him when you are in full strength. When you are an adult and you say that you, you know, you have your bills and, you know, you can pay your own bills. Don't despise him when you're in your full strength. For the relief of your dad shall not be forgotten, and instead of sin, it shall be added to build you up. And the day of your affliction, it shall be remembered. Your sins also shall melt away as the ice in the fair, warm weather. He who forsakes his dad is a blasphemer, and he who despises his mother is cursed of Elohim. Sirach chapter 7, verse 27 through 28. Esteem your dad with your whole heart and do not forget the sorrows of your mother. Remember that you were brought forth by them and how would you repay them what they have done for you? So those who completely disrespect their parents have completely forgotten that you can never repay them for what they have done for you. They fed you when you could not cook or do for yourself before you could even walk. They provided food and shelter for before. They provided food and shelter before you knew anything about bills or money, thinking that money grew on trees and that ATMs, ATM machines just gave out free money. They kept the lights on and the water running. They bathed you. They sent you to school. They helped you with homework. They helped you with projects that you brought to them at the last minute. I know that was one thing that I, <laughs> that I used to do in school, and I wasn't doing it on purpose, but, you know, people, children procrastinate. And you brought the project to them at last minute and your mom and dad would sit down and help you with that project uh, through midnight. And you had to take it to school the next day. It's, it's, completely, it's completely sad what we did to our parents. But they helped you. They helped you. I know they helped me. Brought you medicine throughout the night when you had the flu or an illness. Um, you know, sacrifice and sleep for, you, for, for, for your sake. They helped give you medicine. They bring you water and orange juice. They helped you get a job. Uh, they helped you give advice to avoid pitfalls that they already experienced throughout life. Cosign for you. Help, help you learn how to drive. Bought, you car, bought cars for you. Put clothes on your back and so much more. So just as the book of Sirach says, don't neglect your parents when you are older in your full strength. And don't forget what they have done for you because you can't repay them. Sirach chapter 22, verse 3 through 5. An undisciplined man is the shame of his dad that brought him forth, and a daughter is brought forth in, to his loss. A wise daughter brings an inheritance to her husband, but she who lives dishonestly is her dad's heaviness. So she who is bold comes forth. She who is bold shames both her dad and her husband, and they both shall despise her. If the child of the, of the parents is disobedient and behaving badly or uncontrollable, then it will bring shame to the parents. And in return, they will be dishonored. And we have to remember that we have to honor our parents and not dishonor them. OK, so I don't know if anybody would want to purposely grieve their parents. But if you do purposely grieve your parents, then I suggest that you repent because um, grieving your parents and dishonoring your parents is a sin. We are to honor our parents. It's the fifth commandment. Jubilee chapter 7 verse 20. In the 28th Jubilee, Noah began to command his sons, his son's sons, the laws and the commands and the right rulings that he knew. And he urged his sons to observe righteousness and to cover the shame of their flesh to bless their creator and honor their dad and mother. So I just think it's 
it's interesting that we already know that Noah already knew which animals were clean and unclean in uh, Genesis chapter 7, verse 2. And then when you read Genesis chapter 8, verse 20, he offered every clean beast and every clean bird. So he knew all of this before um, Leviticus chapter 11, uh, where this, the dietary laws are spelled out. So Noah already knew. But this just goes on to show you that Noah was already keeping the Torah because it specifically says in the book of Jubilees, um, in the book of Jubilees, that he commanded his son's sons to obey the laws, the commands, and the right rulings. And he mentioned uh, to observe righteousness. And what is righteousness? That's in Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 25. That's righteousness. Where it says, this will be our righteousness that we observe to do all these laws and commandments before Yahweh our Elohim. So obeying the commandments, commandments is a part of our righteousness. So he has told them to observe righteousness, to cover the shame of their nakedness, and to bless their creator and to honor their dad and their mom. The fifth commandment. Okay, so after all of these scriptures, it's clear that honoring our parents does not end and begin on the uh, the pagan mom's day and dad's day, which you should not be observing anyway. But Paul says that honoring your mom and your dad is the first command with promise. And Yahweh will prolong your days by obeying this commandment. So uh, I would suggest and also say do not be like the Pharisees. Um, and what they did to dishonor their parents, as Yeshua says in Mark chapter 7, verse 10 through 11. For Moshe, Moses said, respect your dad and your mother. And he who curses his dad or mother, let him be put to death. But you say, if a man says to his dad or mother, whatever profit you might have received, received is korban, that is a gift. You let him do not at all. For his dad or mother nullifying the word of Elohim through your tradition, which you have handed down and many such like you do. So Korban is a gift dedicated to Elohim. And the Pharisees use this as an excuse, as a golden ticket to not help their parents by saying that the money or the money or the gift was dedicated. So instead of honoring their parents by helping them, they chose to hold on to the goods by saying that it was dedicated to Elohim.